shows in the World War II era that the importance of armored bridge layers as well as combat engineering vehicles became fully clear. Whole divisions had to advance along with tanks, which were suddenly far outpacing the speed of infantry soldiers. These forces would have to be able to cross all forms of terrain without losing speed and without having to concentrate their trust over certain bridges. And the rising weight of armored vehicles meant that fewer and fewer bridges could support these mast crossings. The only feasible solution to the dilemma posed by the mobility of all mechanized armed forces was a dedicated platform that could improvise river and obstacle crossings at short notice and in otherwise inconvenient locations. Tragged and armored, it was capable of operating right alongside combat units, crossing rough terrain and advancing in the face of light fire. To maximize on common parts and ease maintenance complications, they were usually based on existing tank chassis. The rapid advance of the German armored troops during the attack on Poland meant that the German Army High Command also recognized this problem. To solve it, after the end of the campaign in 1939, the Krupp company won a contract to develop bridge-laying tanks. The submitted designs were based on Panzerkampfwagen 1, 2 and 4, the latter of which prevailed because it was able to build the longest bridge due to its greater stability. Few prototypes of the bridge-laying Panzer 1 and Panzer 2 were built. Only the bridge-laying Panzer IV went into series production. The bridge was capable of a maximum weight of 21 tons, enough to withstand the weight of the Panzer III and other light panzers equipped with armor divisions at the time. In late April of 1940, the first batch of 20 vehicles were ready to be handed over to the training units. In May, there were plans to complete another 60-plus tanks. These were used in the campaign in the West between May and June of 1940, but not with great success. Construction was stopped as the model fell short of expectations and the Army Command prioritized the production of battle tanks. The bridge-laying tanks that had already been manufactured were partially dismantled into battle tanks, and the German army no longer followed the development of this type of vehicles after 1940.